I'm called Leon Buerta. These pictures are called Who Am I? When you speak about me, what are you referring to? When you speak about I speak, what is that I? From a young age, I I've, have had to um, kind of have death be a part of my daily way of thinking. Uh, we think that we have a certain amount of time as human beings and we try to put these destiny parts into that. Mortality is, we forget that this is a timely thing and it's so quick. Um, the words are just spoken and it's gone already. But yet, as you speak, the, the vibration of those words and the influence of those words can stick and go in the mind of somebody else who's receiving it and it can actually come into physical existence in something else years from now in this world that we live in in the what 300 basic religions that exist never mind the subdivisions it never occurred to anybody that prayers are answered across the board of which god they are claiming to serve and that should show you that it's a, a it, it's a mental thing. You're trying to give form to something that's formless or infinite. And I think it's the same with time and destiny. The seven principles and laws abide in all existence. First is mentalism, that everything is mental. Secondly, involves two modes of mind, masculine and feminine, which is kind of like a pen and a paper. Set forth, which is the third, from the highest vibration to the lowest, in essence, going back to its origin. So everything is becoming, nothing is still. It's always becoming something else, back to its source, higher and higher and higher. This sort of vibration follows a bigger uh, pattern of rhythm, which we're the fourth, which is an inflow and an outflow. Nothing is just constant. The fifth is that rhythm and vibration has a correspondence between these pole, poles of polarity, which is the sixth. It reaches a cause and effect, which is the seventh. This sort of uh, process can be viewed in everything and life as well. So we tend to view conscious existence. We think that it started once we were created, but essentially uh, creation is only the projection of um, that which already existed. I guess use this to seek truth as well. You will find this in, in everything and that it just does not suggest at all that your essence, um, you know, vanishes when you die. And what we term as good and love is basically understanding as well, is knowledge of all things um, as one. It's all elusive. You just have now, basically, you have this ratio. Tell me who you are. What is it that fills you every moment? What is it that causes you to act and react? And why do you like what you like? Why do you view certain things as beautiful or not?